Hey guys, we're out here on a site at my place and I've got to put my old Holiday Rambler into action. So we're putting in a drain, a sewer line. We're coming out the side of the RV and I'm showing you how we're going to do our tap. Now, my pipe coming out of the shop is not exactly um, at a perfect angle, so we've had to manipulate a pair of 45s. Now, you can use 45s. This is a 60 degrees, so it's 60 degrees. This is a 45 degree. You look at the difference right there. And there's also a 22 and a half degree that you can use for manipulating your angle. So we're going to be coming off the pipe here and swinging out. This pipe here has already been marked. See the mark? We're in alignment to go in. And we have our marks down here on the sewer pipe for cutting it. And both sides now when you're connecting something that's in the ground like that and yeah look at them hands if you're connecting something in the ground uh, you're going to be of course cutting the sewer pipe so you want to make sure no one's using it turn the water system off and what we're using here because we're going to literally drop it down into place is we're going to be using a no hub coupling right here and I'll show you how it goes on and you can fold it back so that you can drop it into place. And we are using a Fernco, or what is called a rubber all-serve coupling. So this is three inch, and it's got a little dirt in it from me out here digging, but we're going to be dropping that in so that this pipe fits right in here. I'm gonna give her the camera here. And the, uh, the pipe will be able to fit into here, and you can see where the marks are where we're gonna be cutting. So we want about three-eighths of an inch gap between the end of our pipe and here for the Fernco full rubber coupling. And over here we can be fairly flush, but a quarter inch back because there is a seal, stop seal, in the middle of that coupling there. And we'll get this here put, put together and I'm going to show you how we put it together on an active sewer line. Now, my process of putting this together... You don't want to just try to glue it. You're going to take and use a marker, a standard marker that is like a white marker or silver metal marker. Uh, black don't work good on ABS. So you'll make you some lines as reference. Now what I did is I laid this out and twisted them back and forth until when I lay this in there, it shoots straight down the ditch we're choosing to go on. So that is going to help us. And it ends up giving us a roughly about... 74 degrees. That's what the calculation was and that's what it came up as. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut these two sections out. Hopefully it's not too messy. I do have um, roughly a quarter inch fall in this area, so it should be a clean pipe, clean cut. guys who want to know what the hell that blade is that's called a diablo best damn blade i ever used and i get these i pick them up like a 10 pack at a time at amazon that's a badass blade so i think they sell them at a few of the big box stores too but there's our pipe out it comes there we go and we're going to try to do a quick fit in now you see the, the little bit of slack that's there that is on purpose and it's not going to hurt anything a little bit of silt will build up in that gap when it goes on there now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this fantastic and i'm going to spray that and the reason i'm going to do that is i'm going to make it to where it slips on and fantastic is kind of inert in that way it's not going to hurt nothing so we're going to slip it on and i want it to go past past like that to almost where the pipe is exposed right there now that one will go in, and then on this end, we're going to take the steel band, the compression band, and we're going to place it, place, place it the best way you can to where you can access to tighten it up and shove it back to there. And then I'm going to take this coupling. I'm not going to spray it. And once I get this coupling on here, I'm just going to roll it back just like this. So you'll see it. it takes a little bit of force, 
but you'll roll it back and you'll see where that lip goes against the pipe right there. And there's a good reason for this. Now, I will once again spray the inside of that with a little bit. And we're going to take this one and twist it into place by lifting a little up on it. Now it's going to drop down. You're going to drop that one into place. Get it square. Just like so. And you'll slip your band over. Make sure that your, your center rim or your center stop is properly aligned in your pipe there. There it goes. Takes a little spin sometimes. So move them all the way around. All right, perfect. I'll get my coupling on there. Now, on this side, we will just be taking a large screwdriver and working it back onto the pipe because I'm up against the dirt here. Get a little bit looser there. Takes a little bit to work it on. But you need to make sure that you have cut three and a half inches to fit in here because your fit up would be three inches, but you need to know that you're going to go a half inch from here to make that centered. So as far as like cutting your short pieces to go in right there. And we'll continue to work that in. There we go. Use a shovel. So you can see it's just going to slide down. And you want it, like I said, this piece here, that little short piece, you'll cut that at three and a half so that you're, you can eyeball a half inch fairly easy. You can just kind of guess it. We're almost there. All right, now, so we're set up. We're gonna drop this over here so that it's ready for the pipe to be put in it. Now, usually what I'll do is I'll leave this turned up. I've got my plumb mark there and we're just gonna go ahead and do the glue. I'm gonna do a good generous wipe of glue. Temperatures out here right now are about 38 degrees, so not the greatest for ABS glue, but just fine for our purpose. So there you go. Now, we've got a nice layer of fall there. Make sure you get your level. We'll tunnel out a little bit to balance that out. And now we're just going to take and tighten up our bands. Make sure you're nice and straight and squared and tighten them up where they both touch. Just a little bit on both sides. Back over here, same process. And now you've made a live tap. So, it's a pretty simple setup. For you guys who watch my videos, I was a plumber for 22 years before I decided I wasn't gonna compete with all the illegal jobs out there. I had to pay insurance, they did not. I had to get stay within every code they did not so I gave it up and went to hauling cattle 15 years ago and now I'm running plumbing in my own place again all right so let me get that to click this is designed for doing these kind of couplings this tool so all right now what you've seen is you've seen the live tap Install before your eyes, and I'll show you another feature here. We use a street, which is a street fitting, is a fitting that has a bell or a hub on one end, and on the other end, it has a spigot or pipe size. Now, that allows you to use a standard test cap. This is a test cap to cover your line, and it fits snugly when not in use. So we'll get this one in here. 
and there we go in the ditch it's got a good eighth to quarter fall and it's time to bury it and get it ready for sewer time all right guys y'all be good a pretty simple setup putting the old 76 presidential into use wasn't that fun didn't take long Thank you.